Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today in Candle of the Week with Michael, episode 23, I'll be choosing a scent, guys, from Stone Candles, okay? I have here White Suede, Royal Wood, Wonder Wood, and the scent of Peace, okay? So from these four beautiful scents from uh, Stone Candles, I'm gonna pick one or maybe two, a combination of two. Uh, that's why I wanna do this with you guys, okay? So the first one, I'm so inspired guys, after I made that video of uh, reviewing scents from uh, Stone Candles, it's just that it blew me away. They are, to me, they are on the same part as 1617, you know, they have that <sighs> luxurious vibe that is very hard to find in any other company, okay? So I'm gonna make scent strips out of these. So the first one I'm gonna name Peace. Second one, Wonder. Okay, the third one is Royal. And the last one is suede. Why did I pick this, uh, this four scent guys? Because they just spoke to me and they said, you know what? Uh, we wanna be part of Candle of the Week with Michael. And I'm gonna be testing those four guys and today's week on today's vessel guys. This is uh, Arabesque from 1617. This is a part of the Fashion Prince collection. Look at how beautiful it is. It's, it's giving me inspiration of these four fragrance oils in here guys. So I'm gonna see which one Goes with this beautiful vessel, okay? Yeah. I just wanna get that out of the way so I can think of a, of a name for the candle. Okay, so this one is the set of piece. Uh, this is inspired by bond number nine. Inspired by, it's not a copy, it's inspired by, okay guys? You have to make clear that this is not, a, we're not trying to copy any fragrance uh, companies. We are only inspired by a designer, a stand. Okay, this is uh, inspired by Comme de Garcon, French company. The third one is Royal Oud. This one is inspired by Creed. The last one is White Suede. This one is inspired by Tom Ford. Okay, yes, and I have all the Tom Ford's scents that I adore, but I, like a tobacco vanilla, but I, those have to be used by themselves. I will not mix those with anything else, okay guys? Those are very special. Okay, so the first one is the scent of peace, okay? Uh, the top note is black currant, raspberry, and grapefruit. Uh, mid note is li lily, apple blossoms, and jasmine. And the base note is cedar, musk, and amber. Okay. Okay, this is pure spring. This is just, it's like opening a window, guys, and beautiful air coming through, very fresh air. I see everything in white, white linens, white clothes, white, white sheets, white towels. Purity. This, yes, guys, this is pure peace. I see everything in white, you know? It's, it's just like a fresh start. Like everything very calm, very like, on its place. This is something, uh, this is a very good uh, scent to, uh, to, for meditation. <sighs> very uh, inspiring for you to just uh, reflect on what's going on in your life and just close your eyes and meditate. And this one is gonna take you to a place that is gonna give you the, uh, the right answer to what you're looking for, okay? <sighs> this is truly unique. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And this is the kind of scent uh, by itself, I think it will be a great choice, okay? Oh my God, okay. The next one is Royal Wood. This is inspired again by Creed. Uh, the top notes, bergamot, lemon, pink peppercorn. Uh, the middle notes is Angelica, Angelica, green moss, amber mist, and the base note, tonka bean, guaca wood, and musk. Okay, this one is the complete opposite than, uh, than the scent of peace. This one is very like intense. This one wants to grab you. This one wants, it's crave for attention. It wants you to look at me, you know, it's like very energetic, very, ah, this, the citrus is very passionate. Ah, and the base notes, ah, the peppercorn makes it very spicy. And the base notes really grabs you and embraces you. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm not gonna miss it with anything yet. I'm gonna try them all first and I'm gonna see what, that, what, they, what they're telling me, okay? The next one is Wonderwood. This one is inspired by Comte de Garcon. Uh, the top note is Bergamot, Nutmeg, and Club Bud. Uh, middle note is Amber Mist, Jasmine, and Vetiver. The base note is Cedarwood, Guacawood, and Sandalwood. Oh my God, okay, here we go, guys. This is very sensual, very like soft. Uh, it's not either masculine or feminine. It has no gender. Uh, it's very grounding. It's very like, uh, 
how do you call it, very serene, very earthy for me. And this needs to be paired with something else. It has like a story of like also very peaceful, very tranquil, very subdued. But at the same time, it has the, the power of the woodsiness at the bass notes. It's very, it anchors everything on this beautiful scent. Oh my God, it's gonna be really hard, guys. Really, 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 really hard because they're all different. They all have their own personality, their own uh, statement, you know? And okay, the last one is White Sway. This one is inspired by Tom Ford. Okay, this one, the top note is Thyme, Saffron, and Rose Water. A middle note is Lily of the Valley, Matt, or Mate, and Sway. The base note is Sandalwood, Amber, and White Musk. Okay, let's see what this one tells me. Oh, wow. Okay, this one is also very embracing, very uh, loving, very inspiring. Oh my God, it's, it, I feel like I'm traveling through the clouds. I feel like I'm, uh, it makes me uh, feel like I'm traveling to a beautiful place that I'm on the way there and that I'm eager to arrive. The, the strength of the suede is there. It's very different from anything else that I uh, try. Uh, again, this one is gender fluid. It's not feminine or masculine. Another very serene and very sophisticated scent. Okay, guys? Wow, okay. This is gonna be really tough because they're all so different. They're all so beautiful. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go centerpiece and wonder wood. Let's see what I get about this. This is telling me to be to try them together. Okay, so the centerpiece, very peaceful, very white, very illuminating. Okay, the center wood. This is very grounding. Again, very serene very focused on something, you know, on, on a path, on a journey that you want to take, okay? Uh, let's put them together and let's see what I get. Oh my God, wow. Look at my, my God. I'm getting a chicken skin. You see my, my hairs just, oh my goodness, guys. I don't know how to describe this to you. They really want, to be together, they mingle so well, you know, guys. It's like it's a very spiritual, very uh, embracing combination, very luxurious, very loving, amazing, 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 guys. Amazing, okay. I think the the centerpiece and Wonderwood, being that they are so calming and very serene together. I think this will make a really great combination. So I'm not gonna mix it with anything else. So I'm gonna put this to the side, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna mix Royal Wood and Sway because these are the opposite than the other than, than the calming one. Uh, let's see how this what this gives me. Will they work together? Will they not? Okay, oh my god, guys. These two together, they're also meant to be together. If they are the opposite than the centerpiece and Wonderwood. These are very strong. This one makes a statement. This one, if you really want to catch somebody's attention, this is the right combination for you guys. Oh my God. This is so hard because they work together so well. They complement each other so well. The wood really gives you that smokiness, you know? And the suede also intertwines with the wood, you know, and makes a brand new sophisticated scent. Very powerful, very like I'm here. It's not loud, it's just, it's perfect. It's perfect balance. Okay, now, okay. I need to see which, which scent this is telling me to go for. Okay, come on. Let me just grab the other one, the other two. Oh my God. It's so hard because Okay, guys, I just got a signal from the universe. 
And I'm going to go uh, with the scent of peace. The scent of peace. I wonder, I wonder what guys. Why? Because we are going through so much nowadays. What's going on in the world is so intense that I want to make a candle that will bring me peace. And this combination is it, okay? Uh, because I want to feel peaceful. I want to feel grounded. I want to feel loved. I want to see white in the world. I want to see cleanness in the world. I want to see peace triumph in the world. I'm picking up this combination, guys. Okay, this is going to be the candle of the week, guys. And I'm going to name this. I'm telling you, I'm going to use the name of the scent. I'm going to name this the scent of peace. The scent of peace candle, guys. Wow. Oh, my God. Thank you, universe. Thank you. Okay, guys, I need to relax, take a moment, and I'll be right back, okay? Wow. Okay guys, welcome back. So I want to read to you a little bit about this beautiful vessel. This is the arabesque vessel. This is from 1617. Uh, this is part of the Passion Print Collection, guys, and this is so beautiful. Okay, let me read you the description, okay? With exquisite hand blown mauve bubbles, arabesque will dance its way into your heart. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. Each jar is designed by the 1617 creative team and is handmade, reusable, and recyclable. Because Passion Prints are not painted, they can be reused as drinking glasses or barware. Beautiful. Our stunning passion print handmade glass is truly unique. No two pieces are identical and each jar is truly one of a kind. Color is deposited into the glass rather than painted, making this piece both exclusively and durable. Adding wax to this jar creates a beautiful white background, allowing the pattern and colors to pop. This glass is thick and strong and candles make a dream. Please note that the specs are approximate. Each jar is handmade and weight and dimensions will vary. Okay, so let me just show you guys. Let me just roll up this piece of paper. Uh, so you can see, have an idea of, you know, how will it look after putting uh, wax in them. Look how beautiful, how delicate, how bougie it looks, guys. So you see the beautiful pattern, it's very, very sophisticated, very like mauve, mauve very neutral, you know. Uh, this will be uh, a conversation piece, I have to say. Yes! Okay. Now, let's keep reading about the specifications for this. Okay. The exterior diameter is 4 inches. Interior diameter is uh, 3.625. The height is 4 inches. The recommended fill is 15 ounces. And the empty weight of this is 16 ounces by itself. Okay, uh, they recommend that we keep the four inch cylinder, which is what I have over there. I'm gonna be using that. Also available at 1617. And then they also recommend the dust cover. They sell the dust cover also for this, for double week and for triple week. Okay, so using container waxes and 10% fragrance load, we like to use CDN, a double CDN number four for most fragrance oils. But guys, like this is only a recommendation, okay? I'm gonna be using a double CDN number four configuration on this candle, but this is only like a, a starting point, okay? This doesn't mean that the candle is gonna be perfect using those two weeks, okay guys? You have to start somewhere, you know, and this is what I recommend. It all depends on the wax, and I'm gonna be using number seven wax, of course, and I'm also gonna be using the CDN number four weeks, okay? So this is the four inch that you're gonna put at the bottom of the, of the vessel, and this is gonna guide you to place the, the wick on the, on, the, on the right place, okay? I'm so happy with the name of the candle, I think the scent of peace. Guys, what's going on now? You know what, what's going on, you know, uh, in the world. It's so sad and uh, we, all, we all have to have faith that everything is gonna work out for the best, you know. I think thinking positively, you know, and just doing, doing good, you know, for yourself and to other, and to, um, to other people around you, you know. It's just keep you centered, keeps you at peace. You know, it's like, because sometimes we face situations that we cannot control. Your faith, you know, knowing that everything is gonna work out at the end. Okay, now look how beautiful this looks, guys. This is not going anywhere, you know. 
Um, I love it. Okay, so and again, this wick uh, holder. This is the um, the stabilizer, the wick stabilizer, and the and this the wick placer, guys. A sixteen seventeen. I'm gonna link it below, and the stickers too. Okay, so let me get ready for the fragrance oil and the wax, and we have that. Okay, guys, let's do the numbers first. Okay, so we know that the total fill of the candle is gonna be fifteen ounces, wax and fragrance all together. Okay, and I'm looking for ten percent fragrance load. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna do, take my calculator. I'm gonna say 15 mm -hmm. times 0 0.10, which is 10%, equals 1.5. Okay, so we need 1.5 fragrance load, fragrance oil for for this candle. Okay, so now we take 15 minus 1.5 equals 13.5. Okay, so we need 13.5 ounces of wax and 1.5 ounces of fragrance oil for 15 total film okay guys you see how easy it is yes okay so i'm gonna go get my wax and i'm gonna get 13.5 ounces of number seven wax 13.3 so almost there okay 13.4 13.5 okay okay guys so while that's in the microwave i'm gonna take this beaker i'm gonna measure the the fragrance oil and because we need 1.5 ounces of fragrance oil so that means 0.75 each of the fragrance. So I'm gonna 0.75 of each one, okay? And the magic portion is here, yeah! Okay guys, so as we wait for the wax to come up to heat, I'm gonna read you a little bit more about Wonderwood, okay? This is also from, this is from uh, Stone Candles, and it's inspired by Com de Garcon, okay? So uh, I asked, I went to ChatGPT and I asked them to give me a description of uh, all these different notes, and this is what they came up with, okay? This scented candle is a warm and comforting fragrance that blends together a variety of spicy and woody notes. At the top, it features the fresh and citrusy aroma of bergamot, complemented by the warm and aromatic scent of nutmeg and the spicy and slightly floral fragrance of club, club bulb. Moving to the heart of the fragrance, it features the rich and cozy notes of amber mist, sweet and floral aroma of jasmine, and the earthy and slightly smoky scent of vetiver. Finally, the base notes of cedarwood, Quaker wood and sandalwood provide a warm and grounding finish that is both woody and musky. Together, these notes create a beautiful balance and inviting fragrance that is perfect for creating a cozy and comforting atmosphere in any room of your home. Beautiful. I couldn't even say it better. Okay, and now for the scent of peace, I also did some research on ChatGPT, and so I'm going to read you what I came up with, okay? This scented candle is a fresh and vibrant fragrance that combines fruity and floral notes with a warm and comforting base. At the top, it features the juicy and tart aroma and tart aroma of black currant, the sweet and slightly tart fragrance of raspberry, and the zesty and refreshing scent of grapefruit. The heart of the fragrance is composed of a delicate and fresh bouquet of lily of the valley, apple blossom, and jasmine, which together create a beautiful and inviting floral aroma. Finally, the base notes of cedar, musk, and amber provide a warm and comforting finish, okay, that is both grounding and sensual. Overall, the scented candle is a beautiful and balanced fragrance that is perfect for creating a bright and welcoming atmosphere in any room of your home. Okay, guys, and the wax is ready. Yes! Yeah, I just wanted to give you more, uh, I wanted to read to you more about the fragrance uh, oils, okay, guys, because these are really, really magical. Okay, so let's see the wax. I really want this to be at 220 because I would really want all these beautiful scents to, to blend together, guys. And you know, as soon as I put this down inside the liquid, it's gonna go down 10 degrees. It says to, it says to 15, to 17, to 18. It's going up. In, okay, it's almost 220, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna, Drop the fragrance oil. I'm not gonna mix it because I don't wanna go lower, okay? I just want the heat to really like capture the essence. Capture this. So let's see how low it is. Okay, it's 216. So I'm gonna just keep one, a few more seconds, guys. I want this to really blend. Uh, and now I'm gonna mix. So you see what I did? I gave it a chance to really mingle with the wax while it's still very hot. Because now it went down to 195. You see? So if I would have put this right at the beginning before I introduced the fragrance oil, that would have been too cold. 
That's why I say it's better to really go above 220, between 210 and 210 and 220 is the best temperature for you to go. And you mix for 20 seconds and then you just, you don't have to mix anymore because I'm using number seven wax. 190, yes! It's 185, I'm gonna pour. What a beautiful name. What a truly beautiful name. Okay, and 15 ounces is the perfect amount of feel for this. Okay guys, so here's a beautiful candle, the centerpiece. So I'm gonna wait for this to solidify and I'll be right back, okay? Yes! Okay guys, welcome back to the end of the video. Here's a beautiful centerpiece. Yes, look at how beautiful the candle looks, guys. Look at the beautiful finish, yes. And it's not solidified completely yet, but um, the CT is coming along, guys. Yes! So, so for this candle, guys, I'm using these two beautiful scents from uh, Stone Candles. This one is called Wonderwood, and the other one is called The Scent of Peace, which is the, the name of the candle. I decided that the name is it just hit on the nail. This is the message that I wanna give it to you guys. It's like, you know, I was thinking when I was, when I was testing these two beautiful scents, guys, and I was looking at the beautiful vessel and I decided, okay, what do you want me to be on this candle, you know? And I just decided, you know what, guys, I've been having such a hard time on, on the last couple of days, you know, thinking about what's going on in the world, you know, and uh, even though I don't like to watch the news, you know, but even though I, you know, you can help uh, but being influenced by that, you know? And I decided, you know what? I think this candle is gonna bring me a little bit of peace, you know, and that's the message that I wanna bring to you guys. Find something, a scent, some kind of a meditation, some kind of a inner peace, you know, and try to work on that, try, try to grab that, you know. We need to find ways to keep uh, the peace within ourselves, and I think this candle is gonna help you do that, okay guys? So that's the message that I wanna give to you guys. So again, this is the scent of peace candle, and I'm just happy that you joined me today on episode number 23 of Candle of the Week, guys. And don't forget, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to also go to my website, candleromance.shop, so you can watch all my beautiful candles. And until the next video, guys, take care of yourself, okay? I love you, bye. Yes, look how beautiful, yes. Ah, the centerpiece. Love you, yes.